Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Tower of God New World. In today's video, we'll be checking out the brand new May event calendar. So I'm glad that we're finally able to see what's going to take place in May. And it seems like things are going to be packed. But before I get started on the video, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. If you guys are new here on the channel, I have a Discord server. So if you guys are interested in joining, I'll post a server link in the comment section down below so that you guys can join up. But anyways, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and hop right into the video. All right, so what we take, when we take a look at what we're going to have on May 8th, May 8th is going to be the next update. So we're going to have the brand new SSR teammate, Pa Yura. Now, the thing is, it seems like we're not going to get a brand new SSR character alongside with the brand new SSR Plus. Usually they do that all the time, but this time it seems like they're going to they're going to release the SSR character separately from the SSR Plus. So on May 8th, we're only going to get the brand new SSR character. And they were also going to have a release celebration fan club sign up mission event. Now, I don't know what this is, but it seems like this is going to be some sort of event that's going to take place. Um, you know, in actually like in the real world where you can actually get some, um, like some, I don't know, rewards, I don't know, accessories. I don't know what this is, but interested to see what that's all about. Um, we're also going to have a release celebration check-in event. You guys already know the drill. You log in, get your daily rewards. We're also going to have tower of alliances coming back to the game. We're going to have a season three. I'm actually excited about this because this time I'm actually, you know, I have an active guild. And by the way, if you guys want to join the guild, I'll put the information down in the comment section down below. But Tower of Alliances is actually really fun. And I think this time I can act like my whole my alliance is actually going to be able to like reach top three because I have some crazy players in my alliance, which is really dope. And we also have the secret room event. Now, the secret room event, I don't know what this is about. I'm pretty sure the secret the secret room oh yeah the secret room the same thing that event where we had to click on those doors oh my gosh i might be wrong here but if it's that event then goodness man that event is so bad um we're also going to have a trial of chaos and origin floor 750 expansion so that's pretty much what is going to take place on may 18th um honestly may 18th i mean not may 18th but may 8th um there's not going to be a lot going on in may 8th i mean we're just going to have a brand new ssr character um, tower of alliances the secret room event and that is pretty much it there's not really much going on here now when we move on to may 15th now this is actually kind of interesting because for may 15th it's like it's just a celebration live cheering mission event but that is literally it there's nothing else going on in may 15th so i'm kind of confused here like what is going to take place on the may 15th update it seems like there's going to be it seems like may 15th nothing's going to happen on that update like it's just going to be an empty update where nothing is taking place so i don't know what that's all about but we're just gonna have to wait and see and then for may 22nd we're going to have a new ssr plus character and it says express train celebration check-in event so it seems like the yes the hell train is going to come back but the thing is it says express train so maybe we're going to get the hell train you know season two who knows but it seems like we're going to have some sort of brand new campaign story campaign something like that and then we have the revolution room season one update so if you guys don't know um there is the revolution system where you can pretty much unlock three tiers for each character once you reach three blue stars but there are still some tiers left that you know we can't even unlock so maybe they're going to add some more tiers on may 22nd who knows but the revolution room season one up season one update maybe that you know ties into the revolution system and then we continue it says adventure floor 76 through 80 added okay and then new teammate trial event so it seems like they're definitely going to give us an opportunity to test out ssr plus characters for three days which is actually pretty dope so I really like the new teammate trial event because that gives me the opportunity and multiple other, other content creators to pretty much test the SSR plus character out before we, you know, make a video talking about whether or not you should summon for the brand new SSR plus character, because the only place we can uh, test SSR plus characters was through um, the, I forgot what it's called. The, yeah. Arena simulation. Arena simulation was the only place we can test SSR plus characters that we don't have. 
and arena simulation wasn't that good because you couldn't really equip the right ignition weapon on the character and their stats were just bad so the new teammate child event is really really good because you can actually have the right equipment on them which is really nice and then we are also going to have four brand new costumes added i am still waiting for the Ewa costume the flame costume i'm still waiting for that because that costume is going to be straight up fire but we're going to have four brand new costumes that are going to be added into the game on may 22nd and then we're also going to have alliance expedition event season nine that's it now when we move on forward to may 29th we're going to have the new event boss battle so it, they're showing punisher in so if punisher is going to be the brand new boss battle that is going to be interesting and we're also going to have a rank race event and then yellowies bingo time and this bingo time event is actually cracked not gonna lie but the thing is for may 29th we're not getting a new ssr or ssr plus character which is interesting so i'm not gonna lie out of all of the event calendars we've had so far um i will say may has the weirdest like the way that the event calendar is organized for may is really weird because we have for may 8th we're going to have a new ssr character right but then we move on to may 15th nothing else is going on in may 15th it is definitely going to be an empty update and then we look at may 22nd we're going to have the new ssr plus character alongside with the story campaign event but then we move on towards may 29th no new character so in may we're only going to get two brand new characters and that is literally it so i don't know man i don't know i don't know how to feel about that but in terms of you know content and what's going to be added on may um it, it does seem pretty interesting alongside with the revolution room a uh, season one update i'm really you know interested about that but in terms of like characters <laughs> there's there's only two characters that are going to get released and that is literally it we're gonna have to wait like a whole month to get new characters which is going to be insane so um I'm, who who's going to be the ssr plus character so um I, I, I don't know this guy's name but they showed him in the live stream and a lot of people are theorizing that the ssr plus character is going to be this guy right here i don't know his name but a lot of people are theorizing that he is going to be the next ssr plus character and i'm not gonna lie he looks really clean now they didn't reveal any brand new ignition weapons for may um maybe they're not gonna announce it through the event calendar but i have to see what the next ignition weapons are going to be and yeah that's pretty much all we have for the may event calendar in terms of content and what's going to take place um there's definitely a lot of things going on during may but in terms of like characters not a lot of characters not a lot of characters coming out in may and this is like the first time we've had we're going to have an update where there's going to be nothing going on except for you know one event so can't wait to see what may has in store for us and hopefully you know may, hopefully may is not you know a dry month and they actually you know pop off this month because i'm pretty sure on july it is going to be anniversary so we're like two months away or yeah we're like two months away from anniversary so can't wait to see what's going to happen on anniversary and you know what which rewards they're going to give us but that's pretty much all i have for you guys make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't i'd really appreciate it and i'll be catching you guys on the next one peace